So some of you who saw my Commodore 64 video, or maybe someone who's new to synthesizers and that sort of thing, may be wondering what the different kinds of waves actually are and what it means. You know, I told you the Commodore can do, you know, saw waves and and uh, pulse waves and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So you may be wondering what those are, why they're called what they are, and what they sound like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this oscilloscope here and a modular synthesizer and I'm going to show you exactly what the waves sound like, what they look like, and why they're called what they are right after this. So the first thing we need to do is get the sound from here to here. So what I do to connect my oscilloscope to my mixing board is I just use the headphone output and I just use one of these standard cables. It's a, an eighth inch and I've just got a quarter inch adapter just because my headphone out is a quarter inch. And you're going to want a couple of these just wires with alligator clips on them and I use the black as a ground wire and in case you didn't know on either the quarter inch or the eighth inch the stereo plugs the bottom part below this this bottom divider here is going to be your ground so you just put one end on that and then I'll put one of the red ones on to the end for our signal now the other ends we're going to connect directly to the oscilloscope and what I do in this case and this is just because of what I have here you can connect it really any way you want but I'll connect the other end to one of these guys these banana plugs and then I just plug these in it's just a little bit easier so here's a closer look at our oscilloscope and as you can see we have our black ground plugged into the vertical ground over here and then we have our red signal plugged into the vertical signal. So we have our line going across here and when a signal comes through we'll actually see the waveform in the vertical. So now that we have everything connected I'm going to play some different kinds of waves and I'm going to just let you see them. So first we have a sine wave. Now this is the purest sound. It's just a simple wave. so you can hear it and as you can see on here it's just a pure simple wave next we have a triangle wave and you can see why it's called a triangle wave it's actually um, a more jagged triangular shape next we have a square wave but you can't guess why it's called square wave Okay. Next we have a ramp, and finally we have the saw. Now the ramp and the saw are two variations of the same wave, obviously. One is just forward and the other is backward. Now if we want to put in another octave and just sort of see what it sounds like, how about we start with a sign. Ideally, if these are in tune, um, we should get a better composite wave than that. Unfortunately, they're not, not quite there. But in any case, you can kind of get the idea of this. And so these are the different waves and why they're called what they are. So that's a quick overview of the different kinds of sound waves and how you hook up an oscilloscope to measure those. Now some of you may have noticed from the, the intro to the video 
but I actually have another oscilloscope over here. Now this one, you might, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've, I've actually named this one HAL because all we have is a nice dot in the center and there's no adjustment I can make to get anything other than this dot in the center. And I've even opened this up, tried to take a look at it. Of course, these are really old, so you know I, I didn't I didn't want to do too much, but there wasn't really anything I could do to fix this one. And as much as I'd like to keep it around, I don't really have a whole lot of extra space. So unfortunately, buddy, you're going to the trash. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh my God. Wait, who's Dave? Yeah.